beautiful people, I'm Katherine Gomez and welcome to Creative Buzz, where we showcase the amazing work of Bahamian YouTubers, filmmakers, artists, and so much more. In today's episode, I want to catch up with some creatives on what they've been doing during this quarantine. So let's hit them up. First up, I had to call my good friend Beijing Rogers, who's a humanitarian, motivational speaker, and personal growth YouTuber. I wanted to find out if she has been more creative or less creative during this time, because let me tell you, I have been lazy. I think that's a very good question because when you are cooped up in one place, your mind tends to run and some of those thoughts tend to become negative and so that sucks the creativity out of you and the only thing you want to do is just sit on the couch and watch TV. But thankfully for me, I have been very creative during this time. I have been pushing out content for my YouTube channel and I'm actually very surprised as how Digilent and how determined and how consecutive all my videos have turned out. I'm very grateful that I've been able to stay creative during this time. And I think one of the main reasons for that is because you're finally at rest, you're finally at peace, you have no distractions. And so, for those of you who are uh, determined enough, then that is the time to sit down, create a mind map and ask yourself, okay, how do I want to be creative? What type of content do I want to put out? I also had to ask her if she's ever wanted to give up on YouTube because being a YouTuber is hard. Have I ever wanted to give up on my YouTube channel? Yes, 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 yes. Just in case you didn't hear me, the answer is yes. Oh my goodness, YouTube and I have had such a funny relationship but in the end, I've decided that that is my tool that I'm going to use to put out my content. Why? Why Why did I decide to stay in the game and how did I overcome it? Well, this is mainly for two reasons. And in order to find your reasons, you have to dig down deep and really be truthful with yourself. And reason number one is I am a creator. That is what I was born to do. When I look at my life, my childhood, that's all I did. I created, I created, created, and then finally YouTube happened. I'm like, oh my gosh, now we can be on video. Now I can share my energy, my positivity, and my love to others on video. Reason number two is I got to share my truth. I don't see my truth being mentioned on social media platforms and my truth is very important to me and I do feel that there are others who really need to hear that truth in a very sincere and vulnerable way. I've overcome it by really digging down deep and asking myself why and my why is that's what I'm born to do. I'm born to create, to share content, to encourage others, to be bold, speak life and be light because the world needs light. Thanks, Beijing. Next up, I gave my friend Keith Bryan Jr. a call. Keith is a teacher and a YouTuber. His YouTube channel is called Overcoming Giants, and it's all about inspiring others and helping them to overcome the trials they may face. I wanted to know if he finds it difficult being a creative in the Bahamas. It was like I'm constantly battling with myself about how good I am or how good my videos are or how creative I am. So for me, that's the most difficult part of it because I compare myself to like these great or these very popular like American and Canadian YouTubers and stuff like that. And to be honest, the most, the, the biggest difficulty is me. Also, you know, you don't have a lot of humans doing what you're doing. So it's not like something like you have so much role models you can look up to and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's one of the most difficult things. And then, besides the fact that current always turning off, like right now I'm recording this video outside. I got my whole setup outside because current off and all my lights and stuff inside. So yeah, but hey, that's not a reason to not make videos. Go outside and make a video under the coconut tree or something. I also had to ask him what makes him stand out from the billions of content creators out there. I try to allow my personality to come out on camera. That sounds simple, but it's not always easy. Um, in person, I could be kind of jovial, I could be down to earth, but sometimes on camera, I come off more planned and more serious, and I am a pretty serious person, but it's really hard to get comfortable in the front of the camera. 
So one of the things I try to do is just relax and just be natural, try to like run with it, like just let, let things happen. Um, it's something I'm really coming into, so it's not something I've been really used to. I've been doing much, but I've definitely been doing it in recent weeks, um, probably months. Um, so yeah, that's one of the things I try to do. Um, I try not to worry too much about the trying to like make new transitions or all the crazy flashy stuff. I try to keep it simple because everything is out there. Like you can't really do a new style. You could think you're doing something new or extremely creative that nobody's ever done, but somebody probably doing it. And probably a thousand, probably hundreds of people, of people already doing that. Thanks, Keith. Next up, I had to talk with my friend Angel Sara. Her YouTube videos show off her radiant personality, her Bahamian lifestyle, and her love of fashion, music, and most importantly, God. I wanted to know why it's important for her to spread her faith in her videos. It is very important for me to be able to incorporate my faith into anything that I do just because God has been in my life literally since the day that I was born. But as I have gotten older, you know, it was a personal choice that I made to continue to to keep him in my life. And without God, I literally wouldn't have anything and I'm not ashamed to share my faith at all with anybody. God has helped me to build the platform that I have now. So all glory and honor goes to him at the end of the day. I also had to know why she started her YouTube channel and what keeps her consistent. I always wanted to do YouTube. It took me a while to convince my parents to allow me to do my YouTube channel. Since they have allowed me to, I've definitely gone head first with my YouTube channel. You know, I love it. I've always been inspired by other people. It's been a journey, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love my YouTube channel and I love everything that I'm passionate about. I pour into my YouTube channel. And I definitely stay consistent by watching other YouTubers and being motivated by them and what they're doing. I also am inspired by my subscribers who always just, they're the best. Whenever I do get a comment, you know, I take that into consideration because people are taking the time out of their day to watch my stuff and it makes me feel good. So that also puts a little push into everything that I'm doing. And I also have a lot of self-motivation as well. So that definitely helps. So this last question is actually very, very personal just because when I first started my YouTube channel, I definitely expected things to be different from what they are now. I really expected to just hop onto YouTube and to grow, but sometimes that's not always the case. Glad that my journey wasn't one to where I just hopped on and I immediately caught the attention of thousands of people. I've been able to bond more with with my subscribers to be more appreciative of everything that comes my way for YouTube because it has been a little slower than anybody else's but I also try my best not to not to compare my journey to anyone else's it does get a little discouraging just because with YouTube it is all about the numbers but as long as you are continuing to one-up yourself in every video then I feel like you are doing your best thanks Angel Lastly, I had to text my friend Ransford James to get some advice on being a creative because his YouTube channel has grown tremendously over the past weeks. So I definitely need some secrets. Well, one of the things I really see a lot of creatives struggling with, especially early on, is consistency. You know, they get hyped with that first video. They tell all their friends, yeah, I'm about to go and make one YouTube, or yeah, I'm about to go and do one TikTok. And they may be consistent for about a couple of weeks, but then you begin to see that their motivation and their output all just dives down. You truly have to enjoy this creative process if you plan on doing this for a long period of time. Because there's going to be droughts of gratification, times where you don't see no views on your thing, times where you got to promote your own content and people go red you up and tell you how but you need to go and stick to your day job, but guess what? If you really are serious about creating content that changes people's lives or creates a difference in the world, then you need to be committed to it. So stay consistent with not only frequency, but quality. The next question I had to ask is what keeps him motivated when he feels discouraged during his creative journey? Honestly, the fear of failure keeps me motivated. I know that there are people that are watching every time when I upload, even if it's one. And if I don't upload, and someone come up in my chat talking about, but what happened to the video? That goes against my word, and as a man, my word is very important to me. So that definitely keeps me encouraged, 
even when I get in a bunch of stress with my other obligations or I put out a video and it barely gets any views, the fear of failure just keeps me going. But till then, my name is Ransford James and this is Creative Buzz. You all take time out there. Boy. Bahamian comedian and actress Latoya laughs has over 23,000 followers on her social media platforms because of her funny comedic skits that embody Bahamian culture. Get some popcorn and enjoy her mini movie on COVID-19. So you got him. It's a her, ma'am. It's a female. Oh, it's a she. Yes, ma'am. Open the door. So your COVID nineteen. So you have been wreaking havoc all over the world. Do you know that everyone is out for you? Do you know that everyone is out to kill you? And I have you in my possession. <laughs> I mean, I can't go out because of you. I can't shop how I want because of you. I'm in the house all day getting fat eating because of you. <laughs> Who sent you? <laughs> so you don't want to answer. She doesn't want to answer. I said who sent you. <sighs> You're making me upset. Your gloves, ma'am, you didn't put on your gloves. Don't worry about that. She is in my possession. She cannot harm me. I don't need to put on gloves. <laughs> You're really making me upset. So you don't want to answer. I'm going to ask you one more time. Who sent you? So you're ready to talk now? Okay, time to pull out the big guns. Psalms 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feather. Oh, we can't take that. Do you want to talk now? Okay, good. Remove the cloth from her mouth. How old are you? Nineteen. Okay. Good. I think we've had enough for today. Since I've got you talking, I'll be back tomorrow. Y'all, 
finish read the scripture. No, 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 <laughs> no. During this pandemic, if you scroll through social media, you will see creativity at its finest. People all over the world are coming up with cool challenges, showing off their unique talents and starting a lot of their personal goals. Sinead Smith and Kenton Hepburn are the founders of a photography and videography company called Unseen Media, which aspires to tell the stories of the Bahamian youth and culture. Here's their tips on how to start a side hustle. Greetings friends, it's Nay here and I'm back with another video and today I have a special guest with me. My name is Kenton, Kenton Hepburn and me and Shanae, we operate on Team Media and we are producing this video because a lot of you have questions on side hustles and basically how you can make one with little to no money and just general advice. Kenton is my partner so you know, obviously I had to get him in on this because we run on Team Media. So Kenton, could you give a brief rundown of what Unseen Media is, how it started, you know, all that good stuff. Well, basically, this is how it starts. You all ever had a group project inside school, high school, or college? We were put inside a group, and then I saw that Shanae was a very dedicated and passionate person. She wasn't someone who was just sloppy and just like let anything go by. So she always keep on putting in work, and I could have saw the passion. So, you know, I just asked her, I said, Hey, uh, I have this idea for a company, and at the end of the day, you know, we were here and we were formed. Mm -hmm. This was the most asked question that people seem to want to know is how do you start a side hustle with no money? So what are you, what's your advice? If you have a phone mm -hmm. or you have a laptop, you basically already have the two ingredients that you need to actually start a side hustle in the business. Mm -hmm. Because what you can do, you can actually volunteer, like if you're um, looking into more of a side hustle that's a service, you can volunteer your time just to show persons that you know how to do the work. Mm -hmm. You can build up your portfolio, build a case study and say, hey, this is work that I've done for persons, I've done it for free, and now this is what I'm gonna charge for it. So you can have social media as that platform to say, say hey, I can do this type of work, I charge for it, side hustle, and it's basically free if you already have a phone or a laptop. Which it's most people already have. Already have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if you're asking this question right now, you, you more than likely exactly. have Exactly, you had to send it into Instagram, Instagram, WhatsApp story, something like that. But I also think it's important that you should know that it's really not realistic to think that you can have a successful business company side hustle without pumping some form of money into it. Like even if you start it off with zero dollars and just your phone or a laptop or something you have to keep in mind that you're gonna have to be putting money into it so that you can get new equipment so that you can market yourself brand yourself so it's important that you realize that at some point you're gonna have to be pumping money into it leverage the talents that you already have if you know that you like animals you can start like a dog walking service you don't need any money for that you just need to market yourself get your name out there or if you like tutor or you can do tutoring yeah, as well too. if you have a skill that you know especially like um if you're in university mm -hmm. you can actually teach students say hey um, i'm having problems in math um, i'm having problems in my media journalism class mm -hmm. wink wink to all your media journalism <laughs> students <laughs> say hey um i need some help can you tutor me to do this mm -hmm. and that basically that, that will help a lot yeah. if you're a hair braider, if you're a person that likes hair um, you can work on one of your friends here and then you know your friend for share is supposed to say hey thanks to my friend for doing this mm -hmm. and then of course you know other persons would then come to you and say hey I saw you did with your friends here I want you to do that to mine what's your cost yeah the Bible says your gifts will make room for you and that's that's a real thing like that happens so just get creative think of what you enjoy already and try to turn that into something that you can use to generate funds and please do not be scared to post your gifts or the things that you can do yes I'm don't be that. afraid to say hey um whenever i post my type of work or my talents i only get two to three or four likes that might be the only thing you need mm -hmm. don't count the likes count the invoices count the <laughs> count facts, the, count, facts. Count, count the invoices <laughs> So, like you said, using hashtags is a really good thing. Obviously, um, social media, I would say, is like the number one thing. Okay, all right. Yeah, biker boys. Biker boys. boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so using social media is like the number one thing. I feel as though at this point, 
everybody is on some form of social media, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, or even WhatsApp. So utilize those various platforms and sell yourself, market yourself, and don't be afraid, like Kenton said, to consistently put yourself out there. Even if you aren't getting that much of a response, people are seeing your work, and eventually, all you need, all you need is one person one single person that's the right person to see your work and that can spiral from there and turn into something that is bigger than you would ever imagine that also speaks to the importance of word of mouth mm -hmm. because that is also a marketing form and i also want to give another shout out to church boy photography because you know just about every other month you know when we ask clients say how did you find out about us mm -hmm. person would say hey church boy photography or mm -hmm. christoph mm -hmm. role refer to stuff um to you guys so word of mouth is definitely good and when you're thinking about branding for your business, you have to figure out the why. Mm -hmm. Why do you do what you do? Is it just for money? Do you have another motive or goal that you want to do? I know with Unseen Media, of course we provide photography, graphic design, and videography services. But the reason why we provide these services and the, the meaning behind it is because that there are a lot of youth inside our country and that their talents go unnoticed, unseen. unseen. You see, that's why it goes unseen. And there's a lot of underutilized talents and that's why we kind of have this brain drain in the Bahamas. Persons don't feel like their talents or skills are being appreciated mm -hmm. or that it's being seen So that's the kind of platform that we want to be as we keep on progressing as a brand So that's our why mm -hmm. that's why we why we do what we do What is more relevant and I think I kind of answered the question marketing your product or the product relevance mm -hmm. and I think um, product relevance is kind of worth more than marketing because you can market your product a lot and, not, and on, it doesn't mean because you're getting a lot of likes that that actually kind of converts into a sale. Mm. So making sure your product is relevant. Um, why do persons need my product? Um, making sure that I have a good product to, um, to, to begin with. Mm -hmm. And yeah, once you have that good product, persons will tell other persons about it. So that, that still relates back to word of mouth. Yeah, but I think marketing is also still really important because you could have a good product, but if people don't really know about it, then to them it's like it doesn't really exist. So I think it's important to kind of find that balance where you have a good product, but you also have a good level of marketing as well. Me and Kenton can speak to this because this is something that we both do. We just kind of take it one step at a time. So right now we're putting aside a set amount of money for equipment, for photography, videography equipment, and each month we set aside a certain amount so that when the time comes we can purchase these upgraded equipment that we would need. So just take it one step at a time. You don't have to go out there and spend all of your money on getting like a, a big shipment of equipment gradually like them fifteen hundred dollar lens boy <laughs> boy you see that's why you gotta save yeah and definitely when your side hustle kicks off and you're getting a lot of money please don't blow it yeah reinvest don't, it don't, don't blow it don't, don't go to the club don't be buying these two hundred dollar bottles and y'all know after that night you're gonna be your money gonna be burst up your pockets gonna be crying mm -hmm. don't be trying to show off in front of people so thank you guys for watching bahamian artist stacks is all about positivity and helping people rise up from adversities like depression suicide and other overwhelming odds his music has helped thousands overcome their battles Here's his song, Substance, which talks about finding your identity not in the world, but in Christ alone. Turn that down, y'all ain't talk about nothing. We just want a little more hope, a little more truth than substance. I know they've been feeling the beat. I see the whole crowd, they jump in. They wildin', they up on their feet. But y'all ain't talk about nothing. Just a little bit, just a little bit, a little more substance. Just a little bit, just a little bit, a little more substance. A little bit, just a little bit, a little more substance. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Y'all ain't talk about nothing. 
Now, man. first of all, they wanna copy this, they wanna copy that. A bunch of copycats, a lot of copycats truly reside in rap. Cause most rappers act and most rappers trap. The show stoppers at the end of the day are imposters. Shorty got a nice body from the doctor and a dope man putting up a front. Cause through the one, the boy is a scholar. You blowing them commas, throwing them dollars, but you got 10 baby mamas on Twitter trying to follow what your friends do, trying to fit in with the new cool boy. You better get it together before you get shut down. Rolling with the squad and we won't stop now. We sons of a god and we oh so proud and we bringing the truth and it is all so loud. What is you talking about? What is you, what is you, what is you talking about? Can we get a caption for your rapping? Can we get a translator to help us out? Mumble this, mumble that, new genre, that's mumble rap. That garbage is too much to handle. Can somebody change the channel? So you like the party? You like Ferraris? Him Maseratis? I heard her before, man, I'm sorry. You can keep your applause, boy. You can keep your awards, boy. Cause at the end of the day, I ain't worried about the pay. I just wanna give him God, boy. Turn that down. Y'all ain't talk about nothing. We just want a little more hope, a little more truth and substance. I know they've been feeling the beat. I see the whole crowd, they jump in. They wildin', they up on their feet. But y'all ain't talk about nothing. Just a little bit, just a little bit, a little more substance. Just a little bit, just a little bit, a little more substance. Just a little bit, just a little bit. A little more substance Just a little bit, just a little bit Y'all ain't talk about nothing Well, okay, you Christian So I know you see things a little different But when you sing a song, I don't sing along Because you always sound like you dissing Well, okay, my brother I ain't trying to say that I'm better But I believe that hip-hop should be way more Than just popping guns and getting cheddar Where is your heart? That is your treasure Came into the pressure just to get pleasure You stacking that money that won't last forever Well, let me just hit the whole world with a lecture Yes, sir Damn, Mr. Rapper when it comes to change, you're a real big factor We need to write songs about things that matter I know you ain't sway, but I know you got the answers Here's what I'm saying, stop playing, be real, not lukewarm We do a lot of damage with our platforms We tell them have sex, use a condom Man, we need to tell them get married, put a ring on I want you to see your influence I want you to see what you're doing The poison we put in our music Can leave the whole audience ruined See, we got the power to lift a person We got the power to shift a person These are way more than just written verses Either we bless them or sell them curses Boy, I don't get it, boy, I don't get it Why do we mimic, why do we mimic He gave us his image and that is a privilege So stop with the gimmick, let's get it I ain't trying to get views like a rock star Blow up on YouTube like a pop star I ain't trying to be the next big top star Boy, I create my own lane like a cop car I got the truth in my vein and I'm overdosing I got the flow poetry in motion I want you to feel this beyond emotions Let's use this music and heal it broken Turn that down Y'all ain't talk about nothing We just want a little more hope A little more truth and substance I know they been feeling the beat I see the whole crowd, they jump in They wildin', they up on their feet But y'all ain't talk about nothing Just a little bit, just a little bit A little more substance Just a little bit, just a little bit A little more substance Just a little bit a little bit, a little more substance. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Y'all ain't talk about nothing. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit. We got the power to lift the person. We got the power to shift the person. These are way more than just written verses. Either we bless them or sell them curses. 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 Thanks so much for watching, and if you want your content to be featured on the show, please email creativefrom242 at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up on Instagram at Island Imperfection. I hope to see you next time on Thursday at 10 p.m. And don't forget, you were created to create. See you next time.